Hello guys, it is Brittany here. Welcome back to my Color Guard YouTube channel. But if this is your first time here, I just welcome you in general. So if you're clicking on this video, I'm going to assume that you're a fabulous first year, which means it is your first ever year in this fabulous activity that we call Color Guard. Also, in this playlist, once you complete this, or if you just need more help in other areas, I will be having a list of all basics that are need to know for every Color Guard member all over the world. So whether you just need a little help here and there on something you already know, or just want to learn a new basic just in general, I'll be here for that too. Today, I'll be taking you on your first ever step for the first thing that any Color Guard member learns literally anywhere in the world, <laughs> which is drop spins. Drop spins sets you up for so many things that you will learn in the future, and it also just kind of helps you learn what the heck this thing is and how the heck to even spin it. So I'm gonna take you on that journey starting right now. Let's learn some drop spins. All right, so first things first, before we learn anything else regarding our flag, I need to teach you guys what the heck this thing even is and what the parts of it even are because throughout this tutorial, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's gonna be a little hard to follow along. So first things first, let me introduce you to your new best friend, your flag. So we have two things on either end of our flag, which are called end caps. Right now they're covered up by electrical tape, or they should be. <laughs> um, so this right here is my end cap, and I have another one on the pole side right here. Then I have this long, beautiful piece of fabric, which is called a silk or a flag, just depends on where you are. Then this piece of tape right here that connects my pole side of my flag to the flag side of it is called my tab, T-A-B. Then these things are optional, just depends on whether your instructor wants you to have them or not. They are called thirds. It basically splits the pole side of my flag into three parts, so it makes it easier to clean choreography or maybe learn basics like we're doing right now. Um, and then we obviously have the entire pole itself, which is, you know, that. Um, also, one thing I didn't mention is on the inside of each one of our end caps, we have a screw or a bolt, um, depending on which you use for weights. Uh, we have a bigger one up top and a smaller one on bottom, so that way we have weight to our flag, and that's what makes us able to spin it. If you ever forget what any one of these are called, I'm going to try to reintroduce them throughout the video to kind of stick them in your noggin. Um, so that being said, now we can actually learn the drop spins. <laughs> All right, so first things first, we have to learn our positions on our flag. So that way if I refer to this, that, and the other, you know what all those mean. <laughs> so first things first, we're going to learn what is called a right flat. Right flat or left flat, those basically, um, the direction, you know, right or left, will determine what side your flag is on. So let's say if I'm at right flat, I'm going to start with my flag on my right side. So this is the right side of my body, this is the left. Okay, so right flat flag is on the right side. To actually hold your flag at right flat, you need your right hand to be palm up to the sky, grabbing your tab like this. So notice palm up, thumb pointing towards my flag. Left hand on my end cap, which is down here, palm down to the ground. We're going to hold it about waist level. Um, that will just always be how you start at a right flat. So right flat will always be palm up, palm down, flag on the right side. So now that we've learned right flat, we can go up to our next position that we'll need for our drops, which is called right shoulder. Right shoulder literally just means I'm gonna bring my right hand, right arm up to by my right shoulder, and that's it. <laughs> so bring your right arm up. Um, I call this position sometimes my Statue of Liberty position, you know, holding it nice and high. If you want your right hand to be in that same position we grabbed it in, we're just moving it up. My left hand, in case you can't see it, is at my belly button down here. Notice I'm not jamming my flag into my belly button. It is just sitting right in front of it. And it is flat, not tilted this way or tilted this way. It is completely straight up to the sky. Now that we're at right shoulder, we can actually start our drop spins. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to want to take your left hand off the flag completely. So that way we can tip my right hand, my flag, to the left, or here. Now I'm gonna bring it all the way down to my belly button. You guys can see my belly button. 
So now my flag is at my belly button. Notice I'm not here or here, all the way down right in front of my belly button. Now I will reintroduce my left hand to be thumbs down, like my right hand is already. Thumbs down, palm towards my pole, right here. Okay, that is your first ever drop spin. If you did it successfully, good for you. You just learned your first ever basic. So now we have to learn how to get back up. So now that we're here, my left hand will lead into the next drop spin. So I will take my right hand off completely. Left hand still on my belly button. I will turn it flat. Notice again, I'm on my right side until we tilt it all the way up vertically. So that way um, my flag is up now. And notice my thumb is up, yeah. And now I'll reintroduce my right hand, also thumb up, palm towards the pole, right underneath. I know that may be a lot, a little fast. I'll break it down, don't worry, I got you. Most important thing ever with drop spins, and this will depend on your other basics, so it's not a universal thing, but just for your drop spins, whenever your flag is down, like so on our down drop spins, your thumb is down on both hands. Notice thumb down, palm is facing towards my pole. My other hand, once I bring it on, this is my left hand, will be thumb down as well, palm still facing towards my pole. When I go to my vertical drop spins where my flag is up, when I bring it up, now my thumb is up, okay? My thumb is on top. And then when I bring this other hand in, my thumb will also be on top or up. Whenever you do a drop spin, whatever hand that comes off the flag and is reintroduced will grab underneath the other hand. Never grab above or cross over your hand. You always want to go below, okay? Now that we've gone over the basics, let's break it down a little bit more so that way we can get a little better at these drop spins. All right, so now that we've learned the very basics of our drop spins, we also have to learn how to be able to do multiple of them in a row. See, whenever you do drop spins, we use them in large groups to be able to keep time with every member of the color guard at the same time. Because once we learn things like choreography, we have to be able to do it all the time, 100% completely together as if there's one person copy and pasted all over the field or the floor. So let's learn how to do multiple drop spins. Our goal for today is try to learn right and left up to 10 because that would be a solid place for you to stop. That would be an excellent place for you to pat yourself on the back for learning a basic today. So now that we did learn our two drop spins, we also have to learn how to do them continuously like I mentioned before. To be able to do that, I want us to start again at right flat, kind of walk us through how we did the first two, so then I can also show you guys how I will be doing the rest of our 10. So first, we're gonna start at right flat again, raise it up to right shoulder. Remember right now our flag is up, so both my right thumbs should, not both my right thumbs, I only have one right thumb. Both of my hands, the thumb should be on top. When I come down for my first drop spin, which my flag will come down for, my left hand will completely leave the station. It is not involved for this. My flag will be tipped to the left with my right hand, then all the way down to my belly button, which is my spin dot, which is where all of your drop spins will occur. Then, now that my flag is completely vertical and my flag is down, I could reintroduce my left hand, thumb down, because my right thumb is also down. And remember, I'm going to re-grab with my left hand underneath, underneath my right hand. Now that I've re-grabbed, both of my hands are down. Now I can take off my right hand, my left hand, bring my flag flat on the right side of my body, then completely vertical. Now once it is completely vertical and my thumb is up or on top, I can reintroduce my right hand. So that is a very quick rendition of how we did our first two drop spins. Now let me show you how we continuously do them. So from here, since I'm already on my spin dot, I will not go back up to right shoulder. I'm just gonna keep repeating the same process, but from my belly button instead of right shoulder. So we're here. I'm going to take my left hand off again, but instead of starting all the way up here from right shoulder, I'm gonna start right from my belly button, as you guys can see, belly button. Now I'm just gonna rotate it to the left, straight down. It's much faster now, now that I'm not all the way from right shoulder. Same thing, reintroducing my left hand, thumb down, palm towards my pole, underneath my right hand. Once I grab, I'll let go of my right. My left will bring my flag up. I'll re-grab, same process. Now that I'm, my flag is up, I can let go of my left. Grab, right off, grab, grab, so on and so forth. 
So basically the easiest way to think about doing drop spins continuously is once you hit your spin dot, which is my belly button, I'm just gonna do all of my drop spins right here. It'll be a much smaller and a much um, faster motion than going from here all the way down. Couple things to remember. When your flag is down, your thumbs are down. When your flag is up, your thumbs are up. Um, you only grab your flag when it is either completely flag down or completely flag up. Never grab your flag at an angle or flat or like this. It always has to be grabbed either this way or completely straight. Don't grab on different angles because that is the fastest way um, you'll stick out of the group. And for drop spins, our whole you know idea behind it is that everyone looks the same. So make sure you always straight down, straight up. Last thing, remember always grab below your other hand so that way you won't get your hands all mixed up and you have to restart. We never want that when it comes to basics. We never want to have to stop and restart from where we're at. We always just want to go right through it and stop properly. So I'm going to show you how to stop. Nice little transition there. And then I'll show you how to do the left side and that's all we'll do for today. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so now that we're here, what I'm going to want to do is this will be a pull stop. So for my last drop spin, instead of doing a drop spin and just stopping here, I'm going to have my down drop spin for my last spin, number 10. I'm going to pull my left hand, once my right grabs, all the way up to here towards the top of my flag, so that way it will stop. So once again from here, it's going to pull stop. Notice both of my hands kind of work at the same time. So down, pull, stop. Right hand at the top, left hand right by my end cap. So if you're feeling comfortable with all 10 of your drop spins, I highly recommend you do this me at home because I'm going to try to do all 10 with the stop with counts. Before we do that, one thing to mention, before we do any basics or literally anything in color guard, you will hear the numbers 5, 6, 7, and 8. 5, 6, 7, and 8 will be your best friends in every color guard scenario ever because basically 5, 6, 7, 8 is what we call a prep and it's basically to get you mentally focused and let you know, hey, we're doing something, let's lock into our tempo and let's lock in to make sure the whole color guard spins together. So instead of just going, all right, let's start drop spins and one and everyone starts at different times, we have five, six, seven, eight, and then one. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's actually do it. We're gonna start right shoulder and five and six and five, six, seven, eight, down, one, up, two, down, three, up, four, down, five, up, six, down, seven, up, eight, down, nine, stop, ten. All right, if you follow along at home and that went well, awesome. If not, don't be hard on yourself because this is your first time spinning the flag. So I think you're doing pretty well regardless. Now that we've done our 10 spins and a stop, we always gotta reverse it onto our left side because we wanna make sure both sides are equally as strong. Once we do that, then we're done for today. But let's go to the left side. So now that we've done the right side, like I said, we gotta do the left. This should be a lot easier now that we kinda know how to do it on the right because all we gotta do is copy, paste, and reverse. So first things first, we're going to learn our left flat now. It is the same as the right, except now the flag is on my left side and I have my right hand palm down to the ground on my end cap, my left hand palm up to the sky on the tab. When I bring it up to left shoulder, all I will do is bring up my left hand to right by my head. My right hand is at my belly button. My flag is vertical, not tipped either way. And then we can start our drop spins on the left. It is literally the exact same process except your hands kind of start opposite. So now that we start with our left hand on top, my right hand won't be involved with the first spin. My left hand will tilt my flag to the right and all the way down to my belly button. Now my right hand will be reintroduced. Remember, my flag is down, my thumb is down. I will reintroduce my right hand underneath my left hand, also thumb down. Now that my right hand is grabbing, I can let go with my left, bring it up with my right, re-grab with my left, and I can repeat the same process, okay? Take that off and just keep on going, okay? Love to see it, beautiful. So now that I've talked about left flat, left shoulder and left drop spins, I also am going to show you guys how to do the stop on your left side as well. So let's just imaginary in our mind, think as if I just did nine drop spins and I magically appeared here, <laughs> okay? So now that I'm here, what I'm going to do is do the same thing I did on my right side, but on my left. 
So instead of my left hand going up to my end cap, it'll be my right hand, and my left hand is going to grab at the tab, like so. Okay, so notice my right hand is up here by my tab, my, sorry, end cap. <laughs> my left hand is down here by my tab, and that's how we'll stop. So, I've said this in my other videos, but obviously if you're here, you might not have watched them. But most important thing to remember is especially if you're not left-handed, your left side will always, always, always be harder. So make sure not to be hard on yourself because it's just a hard thing in general. So is Color Guard. Um, you're born to do a bunch of other things. Um, Color Guard is definitely not one of them. It's something that you have to completely rewire your body to learn how to do. So just make sure in general, if you're not even getting the right, especially not the left, don't be hard on yourself. It does take time. With that being said, if you're a little more advanced and you're good on your right side and you can do your stop and you want to do your left side, I would do that as well where I'm going to go up to 10 with a stop. 5, 6, 7, 8 are your best friends and counting is your second best friend. So if you're watching this video at home and following along, please also count out loud because your color guard coaches will love you. <laughs> and 5 and 6 and five, six, seven, eight, down on one, up two, down three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with a stop. All right, guys, so that is all I have for you today. I thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, those can go down in the comment section down below. I check the comments on the videos all the time and have my notifications turned on, so if even the slightest thing confuses you or you'd like me to elaborate more, either in another video or in a comment, I will gladly do so. Uh, like I said early in this video, if you ever get confused, not even just in this one, but in future ones, please, please, please use the magic of our little rewind button and go back and watch over parts that might have confused you. And my second tip is that if you're not sure if you're doing something right, you can always film yourself and either send it to your fellow guard members or me or your guard instructors and I'll always help you out and I can guarantee any of the other people you send your video out to will help you as well. Other than that, I think that's about it. And like I said before, questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. And watch all these other videos and get good. Bye guys.